I'm Oliver Trevina in studio for The Hollywood Reporter, joined by the lovely Adria Arjuna. How was that? That was good. Because you kind of coached me a little bit. Yeah. It, w was it right? You well, say I, it's I, so I, much better. I, I told you to say Adria Arjuna. I was not expecting you to say it It wasn't like going to happen either. But... Unless we had hours well. of prep time trying like, to get like to that. I like how your accent says it. Okay, Altria. good, good. Altria. Okay, Altria. so we can continue. Yes, please. We can continue. Please. Okay, great, because it would have been very awkward if we <laughs> could have. Um, let's talk about Pacific Rim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just came out, big blockbuster movie. Um, what was it like going into a franchise like that, like a big movie kind of franchise? Man, it was, it was definitely very nerve-wracking and exciting all at once. I kind of got the news, and I just knew that I had to get to work pretty much right away. Right. I, I didn't allow myself much time of celebration. Well, that's good. If you yeah. get straight into it. Yeah, I just wanted to just get to Jules and kind of figure out who she was and Right. and yeah. So and let's talk about Jules, a very strong woman. Yes. Very smart. You build robots. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's I all because robots. of Jules, yeah. really. Without yeah. Jules, <laughs> it's all going to fall apart. Exactly. Um, how would you say you're are you quite a tech girl? No, not no, at all. No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. So I I went to the USS Midway in San Diego okay. to kind of just get an, a visual of what a steam engine looked like. And I got a tour by this beautiful man called named Scott, and he invited me to fly with the Blue Angels. So I This sounds like a, a love story. Yeah. <laughs> this sounds amazing in itself. So he took me to the USS Midway and then I he invited me to the Blue Angels. I flew with the Blue Angels. So it was a really cool experience of exploration mm -hmm. of a character because I actually got to feel what these pilots would eventually feel, mm -hmm. um, which that kind of changed my perspective. Um, also how, you know, the dynamics in a military base, how, how that kind of works. Right. I had no idea, you know, how does a sergeant deal with, you mm -hmm. know, a cadet or what are the kind of politics involved. So that helped me a lot build relationships or kind of imagine how relationships would be in this film. Right. So much going into it then. Yeah. I was I'm telling you, I was I was very nervous. I wanted to be as prepared as possible and kind of just say, you know, I, I call it the fuck it place. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but You just did. I I just did. <laughs> so fuck um, it. <laughs> it's it's a place where you just go fuck it. I did my preparation, I did my homework and now I'm just gonna have fun and Right. and play with the actors in front of me. And I had some pretty cool actors to play with. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'd imagine that's quite a, a production of that size is quite a fun set to be on. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean it's, you have huge, we were filming in Olympic Park and you just have huge, you know, areas of just blue screen or, mm -hmm. or green, green screen. I think we shot in blue screen, not sure why. But we shot in blue screen. The blue screen's better. Oh, is it? Let's just pretend. Okay. That. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's just go with it because Pacific Rim is is better. There you go. Okay. Great. Um, so yeah, we shot in these beautiful locations, but all of it was just blue screen, and mm -hmm. I had never worked that way. So it was it was definitely a challenge to begin with, but then you kind of just get used to it and trust your director. He would give us visuals to kind of help us imagine what these robots would mm -hmm. look like. I love it. Yeah. And then the rest is history. And it's all the out there is, now. Yeah, it's all out it's there. All out there. Um, moving on to a quite a different project, Life of the Party. Oh, yeah. Very different to Pacific Rim. <laughs> <laughs> and a very different cast, Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. Um, how, was, how was that jumping, you know, from, from role to role that are very different? Oh, um, well, I, I did Pacific first, and then I jumped straight into Life of the Party. So it, it was definitely a big change. Mm -hmm. I think it would have been better if I did Life of the Party and then Pacific. Okay. No, Pacific, Life of the Party and then Pacific, right. yeah. Um, it was it was just so exciting to be in a room with Melissa McCarthy. I had never done comedy before, so another one that I felt kind of not insecure, but I was like, where am I? Right. Am I really supposed to be here? I'm not a comic, and everyone here is so talented. But Melissa is such a wonderful actress and woman, and she kind of just held my hand and took me along the ride. So I learned so much in Life of the Party, and most of it was just me not laughing. Right. It was right. so hard. I was not gonna to say, laugh. how how hard is that being like a rookie in that kind of world and being around Yeah, they're so they're, they're so used to kind of just like holding it in. Right. I would just burst out. I'm like, I'm sorry guys, I'm not used to holding laughter. Right. Um but yeah, she's she's amazing. Everyone in that movie is incredible and so, so funny. Right. I love that. I love yeah. that. So Pacific Rim, Life of the Party and now just announced Triple Frontier. 
which is which is basically a cast of ugly men. Right? Yeah, very I'm ugly such men. An very ugly, ugly girl. men. Yeah, such very an unlucky. Ugly girl. Very unlucky. What and was his name? Scott. Scott never had a chance. Yes. Yeah, Scotty, Even if, Scotty Swoo. No, the Scott that you that showed you the steam engine. Oh, I was talking about. You Scott. forgot He's him already. <laughs> See, it was never real love, Scott. It was never real love. Um, no, but not. yes, going into this project, you've got Charlie Hunnam. I mean, it, the, the cast is great looking men. Garrett Headland. It's it's Ben Affleck. Yeah. And it's, it's been. I mean, it's even making me hot. <laughs> and, 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 I don't know what I'm, know. I, I leave. I leave Monday, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. God, that's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> so talking about hard. getting to that place where you're just like that again, yeah. going into it. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Yeah. Right now. Okay, so after you're there now. You, that's where I'll. I'll uh, that's be, where I'll you're be going. going home and trying to get prepared so I don't just stare. Right. Right. Okay. I feel like there's yeah, gonna be a lot that. of staring. Don't do that though. It's, it gets a bit weird. Gets a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. Try and at least hide it. Try and hide it. Um, so going into a project like this, um, when you were auditioning, were you aware of all the cast members that were already attached or involved? For a triple. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> funny enough, the first time I auditioned for this, it was Tom Hardy and Channing Tatum. And once I got the part, I kind of, you know, Tom Hardy is one of my favorite actors. Right, right. And I was so excited to work with him. And then that kind of fell through. And it's been, we've been kind of in a, a year of exchanging actors that come right. kind of in and out. and. To be completely honest with you, I think everything happens for a reason, and I think the cast is stronger and better than it could have ever been, and yeah. I'm so happy that it's Ben, that it's Oscar, that it's Pedro Pascal, which I've worked mm -hmm, with before mm -hmm, yeah. and love dearly, uh, Garrett and, and Charlie. I think it's just gonna, it, it just feels right. right, and then in the middle is just me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a it's a strong mix. It's a strong mix. Um, what can you tell us about the project? I know you haven't started filming yet, but what info can you give us, if any? Um, Maybe your info? role exactly? Well, I play kind of an informant in this mysterious little thing that these men are trying to do. I'm so bad at being discreet. That's, and That's great for us. <laughs> That's great for us. Carry on. Carry on. Wonderful. We don't need discreet. So I help them plan out this this little, not, what's a different word for plan? Not plan, like, scheme. Scheme is good. Okay, scheme so is good. I help scheme them, is good. I, I help them plan this scheme. Okay. Um, Scheme's a bit more naughty than plan. That's the way I'll describe that. Oh, yeah? I well, think so. Well, it is, yeah. Well, I would consider it A bit it more as secretive. Secretive, yes. It okay. definitely is then very... the right choice of very, word. Well very, done. Very, oh, well done. Yeah. I've been studying English all my life. Yeah. Um, this scheme, um, so I kind of help them through this whole scheme, and then everything just kind of turns and goes to shit. Okay, that's it in a nutshell. That's I don't I don't know. Surrounded by all these great looking men, that is yeah. what Triple Frontier yeah. is. Yeah. It's basically a scheme with great looking men and a lovely lady. What more do you want? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, going back a bit, obviously True Detective, Belco Experiment, Emerald City, yeah. all these kind of very various projects. You've worked with some amazing actors. Mm -hmm. Who haven't you worked with so far? that would come to mind that you'd That I would to die to work with. Because it seems to all be going in the right direction. Thank you, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would say Jenna Rollins. Okay. And Joaquin Phoenix. That's just, that's I don't just... even want to run into them. Okay. I just want to be in the same set as... Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you could. You could probably just stop by a set. No, I want to act. Okay, just checking. Them. Okay, that's better. That's better. Yeah, you want to be you want to be working yeah, with. I them. I want to be working okay. with them. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, we're gonna wrap this up with the THR's top five. Five easy questions. Okay. Okay. Are they like those speedy questions? No, you. Oh, I mean, man, I like those. Okay. Next I'll time ask I it come, really quick. Next time I come, can you have the five speedy? Well, ones? Well, I'll ask this one quick, and you okay. can answer quickly. Okay. Okay. Be the same sort of thing. Okay. Great. Ready? <laughs> oh, this is exciting. Movie you watched as a kid that you wish you were in. Little Mermaid. I still want to be part of it. Okay. One actor who inspires you. Joaquin Phoenix. Great one. When I say career highlight, the first moment that comes to mind so far? Booking Triple Frontier. Okay. Describe your journey as an actress so far in one word. Aprendizaje. Ah, educational. <laughs> What's a guilty pleasure? <laughs> Chocolate. Chocolate. Similar. She's lovely. Amazing. <laughs> She's everywhere on your screen right now. Netflix, anywhere. Movies. It's brilliant. <laughs> 